You know, throughout my life, I've been told I'm a little bit dramatic. I've always had a thing for this idea of kind of like grandeur and like, you know, um, kind of old fashioned, like the idea of like um, a noble person and like things that like noble people would do. I've always been very interested in that. When I was a child, I would dress up as a princess like every Halloween. <laughs> like I just, there's something about like old timey, rich, like important people that I've always been very fascinated by. And something that they have always done is that they would get hand painted portraits of themselves. They would get their family all together and they would have them all sit down. A formation of sorts, usually like the lady of the house is sitting down and then like the man of the house is, like has like the hand on on the chair, you know, that type of situation, and the kids would just kind of be like around them. They would get their portraits painted, and it would be like really big, and they would put them like in intricate frames, and it would be like, yeah, this is our family. You know, that portrait would presumably be passed down through the generations of that family. I've always been very interested in those, and I've always been especially interested in solo portraits of noble ladies in like beautiful ball gowns, and like their hair done, wearing their makeup, and they just like look like so elegant, just so pretty. Like what my idea of like beauty is, is like someone posing in like a beautiful big gown with like jewelry and makeup. And I just think the idea of a hand painted portrait of that person, ugh. So I was scrolling through TikTok as you do, and I saw this TikTok um, by this person. Basically they were talking about a website where they uploaded a selfie of themselves to it and it sort of like rendered it with a filter to make it look like a hand painted portrait. And you can go through and customize like what style of portrait you want done. And then in the TikTok, the person said, I want to get this printed out and put it into a beautiful frame and have like a framed picture of me as a hand painted portrait, just like hanging up in my room, like how cool cool and extra that would be. When that immediately piqued my interest because that is something that I've always wanted to do. I have always wanted to live my life as some noble person who has a hand painted fancy framed portrait of them in their own god dang house. So I watched that TikTok. It was in the back of my mind. A few days later, I went to a thrift store. You won't believe what I found. Da, 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 da. <laughs> this one also has glass, but um, I took it out because I didn't want to carry it, but the glass is stuck inside this one for now. That's why there's glass in this one and not in this one. But the point is, oh, that's kind of a cute, this is a good thumbnail. Wait, hold on, let me post. Let me, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, Oh, that's a good thumbnail. That's, <laughs> that's really good. <laughs> Anyways, the point is, I went to the thrift store and I found two frames that could work for the thing that we want to do. Notice how intricate and beautiful. Um, we can also paint her. Like, I think it's just wood. Like, we can, like, paint this if we want to. Like, it doesn't have to be gold if we don't want it to be. And then, as a backup, the reason why I got two sizes is because I wanted the big one. However, I don't know if they're going to be able to like print this out for me because I have to go to like a FedEx to print it. So I don't know if like they have a paper big enough to like print that portrait of me onto this size. So if they don't and we have to go smaller, we'll go for the smaller frame basically. And now that we've actually gotten to the point of the video, Hi, my name is Gwigan, and today we are going to be putting a filter on a fancy picture of me to make a fancy portrait of me to put in my craft room. So what do we need to do? The very first thing I need to do is actually check out the website. I haven't gone on the website yet. And then after that, I want to actually take the gosh dang picture of myself. Now that's gonna take some finagling because there are a few details that we need to go over. I do have a giant pink ball gown princess dress. I think it's gonna work really well for what we wanna do. However, I currently have blue hair and I feel like if I want to get the vibe right, my hair needs to be longer and less bluer, you know? So we have to decide a wig, which means I have to style a wig. I will go more into like the wig thing later because there's a lot to go over when it comes to my wigs. Um, if you don't know, I'm a cosplayer. I've been cosplaying for almost 10 years now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and I have a variety of wigs that we can choose from. So that's gonna take some figuring out. But the very first thing we need to do before we even think about like the wigs and the setup and the whatever and the picture is we have to go to the website and check this thing out. Okay, so I'm on the app now. Oh, um, I was trying to upload a picture. Oh shoot, what's happening? What is going on? <laughs> oh. Google Pay, subscribe. Um, can't I just try it with, to see if I like it before I pay for it? Do I have to pay for it? Oh, okay. Suddenly we're on this page. Um, oh my, I, why do I look so much angrier in the, <laughs> in the alternative ones? Portrait Plus, oh, that's locked, okay. Wait, so are these all of my options? I mean, this one's pretty cool. The one in the top right corner, 
is pretty dope. It did make my hair brown and got rid of my bangs, which is sad, but maybe that won't be a problem when my hair is like all one color and it's like a wig, you know? That's kind of sick, honestly. That's not terrible. And then this one is a little bit weird, but it's like still pretty cool. And then lastly, we have this one, which is I think my least favorite. Um, it looks like I am 20 years older in this. <laughs> Yeah, this one's really cool. I like this one a lot. It's my favorite. So I think this could work. Um, I think that if I just take like a picture that's like a better quality picture than this one with like my wig on, so it's like my hair is a one color and it's thicker, I won't have like this bangs issue going on. That's so interesting. I feel like it doesn't look like me. Am I just like not seeing what I look like? Does this look like me to you? I feel like in this one I look so much like, I don't know the word, like so much more intense. Okay, so this can definitely work. We can definitely work with this. Um, let's see, can I save this? And uh, yeah, it's great. I'm, oh, where am I going? Uh, and I see that when it saves, it saves with a watermark at the bottom right here. So we'll just have to crop that out or maybe just the frame will cover it up so maybe we won't even have to crop it out. But yeah, this is doable. This isn't like a terrible rendition of what I look like. I think it can be done, it can be done. Well, that was less difficult than I thought it was going to be. So now the next part of our process is we need to take a picture in our princess dress. So there's only one person in the world I could think of that would be good for this task. And it is my friend, Margaret. Let me go get her. Margaret, welcome back to the show, Margaret. Margaret made an appearance in my I Try a Chloe Ting workout challenge video and she's back for this one. Okay, Margaret, so today we're gonna put you in a princess dress. She's excited. Let me go get the hoop skirt. Uh, yeah. Oh, I almost got it. There you go, Mark. The thing about this hoop skirt is my dress that I have is so much more heavier than this hoop skirt can like carry because the hoop skirts, hoops aren't metal, they're plastic because I got it from eBay. And so whenever I walk, the hoop skirt like bends and it doesn't like support the weight of the dress. And so I end up like walking on the front of it. Like, so I, when I walk, I have to walk around like this like holding up the front of the skirt, like um, like the stepsisters in Cinderella, like that. <laughs> okay, she's wearing the skirt. Let's go ahead and get her in her gown. Ooh. Okay, so here's the story of this dress. I was at a store in the mall and I think it was like around prom season and I saw this dress and I think it was like $80 and I really liked the bodice. I really liked the color. Pale pink is like one of my favorite colors of all time. So here's the thing about those prom dresses. I think that they make them super, super long. So then you can like go get them hemmed. So like they're wearable for everyone like different heights. And I didn't hem mine at all. I just left it super, super long. So then I could put a hoop skirt under it. However, this top skirt is from the original dress, but the bottom one is one that I made. It's original bottom skirt was made of satin and it was super wrinkly and like honestly kind of ugly, but also it wasn't a full skirt because it was designed for, you know, to go down straight down on someone. So I ripped it out and I replaced it with flannel. Flannel, I feel, doesn't wrinkle as obviously as the satin would. I feel like it's a good color match. I feel like it's sturdy, it's a good material. But now the dress is so heavy because it has, you know, like 11 panels of flannel around it. So I can't do a whole lot of like, you know, running down the stairs trying to get away because it's midnight and I lose a slipper type of stuff. I can do more of like, um, I sit very still and get my picture taken type of stuff, which is perfect for what we're doing. Thank you, Margaret. Appreciate your contribution here. So now that we figured out what we're going to wear, now we need to talk about wigs. So when it comes to wigs, I usually default to blonde because that is the hair color that I wear most often. So I'm feeling a blonde wig. However, I'm open to other possibilities. I still want it to look like a portrait of me, you know? So I'm not gonna do anything like crazy, like like jet black or like orange, just cause I never wear those hair colors. But I'm open to like blonde and then like brown and maybe like auburns and I'm open, you know, I'm open to it. With that being said, let me show you our wig options. Oh. So this is the first box. Right now I'm gonna go ahead and separate all of like the blonde and natural looking wigs and then all of like the anime, like loud pink and blue, whatever wigs that we're not gonna use. So I can like narrow down my choices a little bit. Here we go. through this box, I'm gonna go ahead and put all of the rejects back in here and then I'm gonna keep this pile of like blonde and browns for our options. Oh, okay. 
This is bag number two, and this is the rest of it. I'm gonna go through and do the same thing. So we've narrowed down all of our choices. I'm gonna go put the rejects back in here and put this away real quick. And then out of these options, I'm gonna go ahead and choose my tops. Okay, so obviously all of the wigs need to be brushed out. So they don't look as good as they could look right now. But this is uh, option number one. That's actually not a very good way to display it. Hold on, let me get the wig head. <laughs> okay, but this is option number one. This option is a yellow undertoned ash blonde wig. It is long and straight with no bangs. It has a middle part and it is very long. I feel like it's a good neutral option. I feel like it'd be really easy to style. Like if I want to like braid my hair or like put a bow in my hair or do something like this. The second one is a very similar color. However, it is different in style. As you can see, it is much shorter. It would probably go to like right here on me. And it has bangs in the front, which are kind of messy right now. So yeah, this is an option. You could also style it with this. And if I didn't want to deal with like all that long hair and if I, and if I wanted a bang, then yeah, I could totally do this. So that's another really good option. And lastly, we have a different color. This one is honey brown. It has straight across bangs and it is long and straight. This one is a little bit closer to like my natural hair color, like if I didn't bleach it blonde. I really like this wig, it's super flattering and I think the color is like really nice on me. It's definitely like one of my top choices, I think. I also think it goes really well with the color of the pink dress. Yeah, those two warm colors go really well together. I think they show up on camera really nicely. And if we compare the color of this wig with this dress, this looks really good too, but I feel like the two different colors have really different vibes. This one is kind of more like princessy vibe, and this one's a little bit more like I'm a fairy and I live like in a mystical wood vibe, you know? They're very different. I think I'm leaning towards her. Let me think about this. Let me think about this. I think this will be really good. I think we should go for this one. I think this brown and then this pink go together super well. Congratulations, you are the winner. So next thing we have to do is I have to fix that wig. <laughs> I have to style her. I'm probably gonna give her a little bit of a bath because she's been in a bag for a really long time and she's probably a little frizzy and knotted. Yeah, I think she could use some love. And then while that is soaking, we'll have to like set up our photo shoot area. I have this black canvas cloth. I think it might be duck cloth. And oh no, this won't work at all. It's all cut up. I was actually using it for the reason I use fabric. Maybe it'll work. Maybe we can make it work. Hmm. <laughs> what was I making out of this? Yeah, no, this can totally work. Just like hang it up like this. Yeah, that's fine. It'll just have two little tails, but you won't even see the tails anyway, so who cares? Okay, kids, this is on the list of things not to try at home. Do as I say, not as I do. Thank you. Woo! I got on the chair because I thought it was going to be much higher up, but I honestly didn't even need to get on the chair. I'm just being dangerous for no reason. Someone stop me. Someone make me get off the chair. I'm just risking it all for no reason. Okay, excuse me, Margaret. So here's what I'm thinking for like this, and then like this will be my backdrop, and then like taking the picture like right here, you know? I think that can work. I don't know if this is like wide enough. Let me get my phone to see what it would be like. So thoughts, um, we're going to need a different backdrop because I think ours is just cut too small. Uh, here's the picture. <laughs> yeah, I would have to zoom in even more to get like all of the sides out of the way. It's also like way too close to my face and I want it to be like higher up. So I want there to be like more volume of like fabric above me. Yeah, we just need to change the backdrop. But otherwise, I think that it'll turn out really good. We just have to make the background a different background. much better. It's very like I'm at school and I'm taking my school photo vibes, <laughs> but I think that like the setup and the framing and everything is going to be good for like what we want to do. The next thing that we actually need to do is take the gosh darn picture. So I'm going to check in back with you tomorrow when my wig is all done soaking and it's brushed out and it's all dry and it's ready to go. We'll take the picture then. After I take the picture, I'll put it into our little app. I'll hopefully get like a beautiful portrait and then we'll print it out and we'll see what happens. Okay. See you tomorrow.
day two. Okay, so it's day two. As you can see, I already have my makeup on. So now the next step is I have to put on the wig and I have to put on the dress. And that'll happen in three, two, one. <laughs> Rate my transition skills in the comments below. Roast me down there. Okay, so now for my next trick, I'm gonna go ahead and try to take a few pictures. Okay, here we go. Wish me luck. Okay, so I think those are good. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do some like standing up ones just in case that's what I, and just in case that's what I want. Um, yeah, so let me go ahead and move the light and stuff around. Okay, so I think I got a good few ones. I'm gonna go ahead and pick out my favorites and then we'll upload them to the app and we'll look at them together. We'll do the grand reveal of the portraits and stuff. If you're wondering if I'm Slavic squatting in a ball gown right now, the answer is yes. Okay, let's look at these pictures. Okay, so we're opening up the app now. Oh, hello me. Hi. Okay, so the picture that we're uploading right now is one of my tops that I just saw like on my phone. The, you know, my really cursory glance of like which ones I liked. This was definitely one of the ones. And it's this one, and I think it's really good. I really like how my eyes look in it. This kind of takes a while for it to render. For only like four portraits. Oh my. So, it got rid of my bangs. So, wait, hold on. Something I'm just noticing is that it zoomed in on my face. It's not like doing the full shot it's like not including the dress is it going to cut out my body for all of them because if so this was a huge waste of time okay yeah i just uploaded a full picture like of my full body and it just zoomed in on my face and got rid of the body so this is a little sad it means that i can't have the portrait that i want it's just gonna zoom in on my face Hmm, I'm gonna do some research. Maybe I can find another app who will just like give me like a portrait filter that's like not this one and we'll use them instead. Okay, so it is day three and I have a big update for you. So I probably downloaded 15 to 20 apps um, trying to find a good replacement for the Portrait AI one. Unfortunately, it seems like no other app does exactly what the Portrait AI does in that it takes a picture of you, renders it to a different sort of like iconic style of portrait painting and then gives you a new filtered photo of yourself. Nothing really does that. The only things that I could find, they just sort of have filters that you put on top of photos that kind of make it look like a painting. So I downloaded a bunch of them, tried a bunch out, and this was the best one that I could find after hours of searching. It's called Paint, and essentially what it is is it has a few different filters that you can choose, and then it layers the filter over a picture, and then it kind of stylizes that picture. It was like the closest thing that I could find to what we wanted. So for instance, there's this filter, and it's called Expressionism. So then you would upload a picture, you would crop it, would process it, and then it will show you what you would look like under that filter. There is a bar to show like how much you want to be filtered. So like that's the, what the transparency bar is here at the bottom. You can go ahead and move that down. And then it kind of creates a filtered photo of you that looks more like a painting. And you can turn the brightness up here at the bottom as well. So the filter that I used, it's this one. I don't know how to say that, but it's L-A-U-B-E. I'm gonna go ahead and upload the same picture to it. And then you get this version of yourself. And then I turn down the transparency. So I basically played with the settings for a while, I found a version of it that I liked. I then put it on a flash drive, went over to the FedEx and had them print it out. The page that they could print it out on wasn't large enough to fill my frame. So then I took some foam and I cut out a frame and then I painted it black and I put it on top of the picture to make a matte outline to cover up the spaces that couldn't be covered up by the frame. So if you're keeping track, 
I went to like 20 different apps, found the app that worked, printed it out, wasn't big enough, made a frame, or rather a map for my frame, to be able to get this product right here. Da -da -la -da -da -da. <laughs> there I am! It's kind of impossible to show you what it looks like because my lights are all surrounded around me, so I'll put a picture on the screen right now of what it looks like. I have to kind of keep it angled like this to not, yeah, sorry. <laughs> we were able to do the thing that we set out to do. It is a picture of me and it kind of looks like a painting. I will say it is not as intricate and impressive as Portrait AI's paintings. Portrait AI's paintings really did look like a stylized painting of me, where this is very obviously like a portrait of me that has been filtered to sort of look like a painting. So, you know, you take what you can get. Maybe one day Portrait AI will update it so it'll just stylize entire like full body portraits and not just like someone's face. I don't know if they're going to ever strive to do that. The app seems like it's currently in construction and so who knows what updates they'll make in the future. And if they ever do do an update where they will include somebody's full body, and then, you know, I'm interested in trying this again and maybe replacing this and, you know, trading it for the one that I actually wanted to do in the first place. But overall, I would say that this was a success. It was also the most extra thing that I have ever done. <laughs> I do feel fancy now. I feel like I am a noble person who lives in a house where I have a hand-painted portrait of me and it's hung up in this beautiful frame. Was this very extra and silly? Yes. Was it fun? Um, there was some heartbreak. There was some difficulty. But overall, I did have fun with like the end product. Like putting it in the frame was very exciting. <laughs> if you're interested in having a fancy portrait of yourself that kind of looks like a painting, um, I recommend you do this. Go to a thrift store, find a fancy frame, find one you like, put this photo of you in your frame and hang it up in your house. And then when people come over, they'll be like, oh, you must be very fancy. And then you'll be like, of course. I have a hand-painted portrait of myself in my house. I am very fancy. Duh. Do you have any app suggestions for something like this that would be better than the one I used? Also, are you interested in doing something like this? Are you interested in pretending you're a noble person from um, centuries ago? Or am I alone in this? You can answer all of these questions in the comments down below. While you're down there, if you would like and subscribe, it would help me a lot, but no pressure. And with that, I think that this was a success. Thank you everyone so much for watching this installment of I Turn a Fun Picture of Me into a Fun Portrait of Me, Put It Into a Fun Frame that I got at a thrift store to put in my craft room. Now I just have to figure out where I'm going to put it. Also, I have to prepare a response for when people come over and they're going to ask, hey, is that a framed painted portrait of you? And I'll be like, yes. <laughs> and they'll be like, why do you have that? And I'll be like, I don't know. <laughs> they'll be like, that's a little bit weird. And I'll be like, I think we all deserve to feel a little bit fancy every now and then. Any excuse to wear a princess dress is a good excuse in my book. Okay, and with that, I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.